Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and we are here with the LG Optimus 3D Max here in Mobile World Congress. So it was about a year ago that we first saw 3D phones with the LG Optimus 3D and now it has gone uh, to the max or something. So at its core you've got actually a really nicely thin, it's 9.6 millimeters thick uh, Android device. It's still Android 2.3, that hasn't really changed. That's going to be as much because of the 3D as anything else, unfortunately. It is very, very fast though. It's got a 1.2 gigahertz uh, processor. It's one of those tri-dual architectures textures because it has dual core uh, and dual channel memory which LG is very very proud of and will tell you about it at any chance they get. The real workhorse here is of course the two uh, 5 megapixel cameras on the back. That is what lets you do three dimensional photos and videos. Now it's a little tough to show you here on video like we've done in the past but LG still does have this 3D uh, kind of wheel gallery thing. And actually this is really nice. This is something I complained about uh, other manufacturers when they tried 3D was they just kind of threw it at you but LG has really nicely walked you in to it. So you have your own little 3D launcher for 3D applications. So YouTube 3D, 3D gallery, straight to the 3D camera, 3D games and apps, and a 3D guide. We'll flip you through the uh, 3D gallery real quick. Again, you're not really going to get the real effect, but this is in, in fact in three dimensions. And if you don't dig 3D, this isn't really going to bring you around to it, even the uh, after the original Optimus 3D, but you know, it absolutely could look worse. It's really not horrible. So we get 3D uh, effects here on the wording, and the background definitely drops out when you're seeing this in person. So you got a volume rocker here on this side. You've got the uh, micro USB port, which is hidden by a little door, which is nice. On the far side, you've got camera shutter button, and you got a power button up top. Really nice build, really nice feel. I like that a lot. So if you're digging 3D, this is certainly a phone to check out. Uh, it's got kind of LG's older UI skin, so if you're not like liking that, you will uh, probably want to ditch it. But all things being equal, not a bad phone at all. So there you go, quick look at the Optimus 3D Max from LG. See ya.